What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarn.com. So today, tonight, this morning, whatever it is where you're at, we're going to talk about hash tables and calculated properties. So a hash table can contain one or multiple items in key value pairs. So one of the keys here is these are your key values. So you can use label, just the letter L, name, just the letter N, expression, spell it out, or E as uh, to indicate your keys. And it'll make sense here in a minute. So practical example, I'm going to use WMI to get the uh, local disk information for the computer I'm running on right now. So this is with no hash table, no calculated properties. Okay, so it brings back all my local C, local D, and then that system reserve drive. Gives me the free space, but this va these values are not in a very human readable format. This is where hash tables, calculated properties come into play. So if we are to use a hash table to make this make sense to us, we can use the key label. So basically what we're doing here is we're creating a label for this property. We're going to call it free space brackets GB. So that's, this is going to tell us that this is the amount of free disk space on the disk in gigabytes. And I spell this out at the expression key. We're going to look at that free space property. We're going to take that value and divide it by 1 GB. Now you can use MB for megabyte, GB for gigabyte. TB for terabyte, and there's a petabyte. I think it's PB. Those are all recognized by PowerShell. Um, and this is kind of the format. So to make this a little easier to read, so there are. There's my key, my value, my key, my value. You can use multiple hash table or multiple key values in your hash table. It just got to be separated by the semicolon. So let's run this. Okay, so that's better. So this is telling me on my D drive, my data drive, I have 170.9264 blah, blah, blah gigabytes of free space. So we can further refine that, uh, the way that value looks, by taking this to the next step. Now if you look, the only difference in my two things of code are is this part right here so this is going to tell powershell to write this free space in gigabytes back down to it's going to round to two decimal places and there you go so that's definitely much better uh, than what we had so that's just one practical example of how you can use hash tables and calculated properties to take the default data that powershell is going to spit back at you turn it into a much uh, easier readable format for reports or whatever. All right, so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching to the end. If you have questions, hit me down in the comments over on SignalWarn.com. This little bit of code here you can also download on SignalWarn.com. If you have ideas or questions for a video on whatever PowerShell, send me a note, hit me in the comments, let me know. And All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.